Welcome to Burt Ridgeway's Learning for Life video lessons and in this lesson we're going to be learning a tune called Liza Jane. We're going to be in the key of G and uh, we're tuned in G to standard G tuning and before we start I do want to thank my patrons for making these lessons possible. If you are uh, benefiting from these lessons, if you are learning from these lessons, it is simply because somebody is giving uh, so that these lessons are free and available for everyone. So I appreciate my Patreon help. I, I really could not do it without their help. Um, I'm not just saying that. Uh, they, they are a vital part of this work. And without going into too much detail or personal detail, um, the work situation in our home is changing somewhat. And uh, let me just say that Patreon support is really needed now more than ever. Uh, I have often said that I would do these lessons as long as I can afford to do that and things are changing that's going to make this a little bit more difficult. So I truly would appreciate any uh, patron help again. Uh, that's why these lessons are free and uh, so thank you on those who are already giving and thank you to those who will consider doing that. So let's get started on the tune. Um, this is not a hard tune. I'm going to give you two ways to play it. Play a simple, simpler version and then one with the triple double thumbing. And again, that doesn't mean one's better than the other. It doesn't mean one's fancier than the other. And actually, what you could do with this is, since you play a tune through several ways, play it one way once and then play it another way the second time. So what you're going to do is you're starting, the first phrase, you're starting on the second string, open, third string open, then third string second fret, then third string open. So now I'm moving my fingers out of the way, second string, third string, third string second fret, third string open. But what I would do is make a D7 chord. So. Now you can pull off on there. Here, I just meant with your thumb. Then you repeat that. And what I would do is, is stop your recording there and, um, and stop your recording there and memorize that much. Okay, then you're going to play the second string, first string, so second string, first string, you're doing that twice, make a C chord, and really the note that you're hitting there is that first string, second fret. And then first string open. So, open, now you can hear me hitting the head here, that's actually a technique of rhythm. Um, kind of gives it a little something behind it. You can do it or not. That's why some people play up here. They don't want that. It gives it a different sound, maybe more plunkier. So that's the first way. One more time. Sorry. And then if you want to use the triple or double thumbing, you would play it this way. This is the same. And what I did there is I used the double thumb the first time, triple thumb the second time. Let me do it again. Right here, fifth string, second string, 
then the make your C chord. You're hitting that with your middle or your index finger on the first string. First string open, then triple thumb, five, two, five. Make sure that much is memorized. Now you're going to repeat that first part. Then you're going to play the second string. Let's do it the, the, the simpler way first. Second string, second string, third string, second fret, make a D7, third string open. So it's to make that a little fancier you could go second string which is just a drop thumb make your d7 and do a triple thumb so I'm gonna play part a all the way through with the simpler version and then I'm gonna play it all the way through with the triple double something. Now the fancier version. So that is part A of Liza Jane. Make sure you have that memorized. All right, let's move on to the chorus. Here's your first phrase. You're going to start with your ring finger on the first string at the fifth fret. So twice, hesitation again, open, make your C chord. thumb there. Make your C chord. That was actually a, a double thumb there. So that's the only place you do it. So here's your two ways again. Four. So just that, that first part. So one more time, make sure it's memorized. Or. Let's move on. You're going to hit the second string. First string. C chord, open. It's on the first string. So second string, then everything's on the first string. If you wanted to use the triple or double thumbing, and I and I think if you are familiar with these double and triple thumbing, I don't need to explain it so much every single note. Because if you're, if you're advanced enough to do that, you, you're probably advanced enough to figure out how to put that in there. So 
So from the beginning, here's the simpler way. With the triple thumbing. Then you simply repeat. And just as the ending in part A changes, it's the same as in B. So let me play all of part B through for you with the simpler version. Repeat that. And then the fancier version. So to end this video, I'm going to play the entire song through for you using the simpler version. Then I will play it through using the fancier version. And then I will, and I'm going to do it slow. And then I'm going to put it together and mix the two together. So here we go. Sorry, I almost did it wrong. With the triple thumbing. Sorry. <laughs> I started going kind of fast there. Okay, let's mix it up, and I'm going to play it more up to speed.
So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, and uh, I hope you're. I hope these lessons are a blessing to you. I hope they're a help to you. And if I can help you out in any way, please let me know. We will see you on your next lesson. Have fun.